Good evening, everyone, and thanks for coming for the first evening of At The Post Live, the seventh season of At The Post Live. Appreciate everybody coming at the parting class. We've got a great crowd, a huge crowd. And it's big. Everybody's going to the track tomorrow, so we'll have a big crowd. If we have just the number of people in this room, I think we'll have a big crowd tomorrow. It's the seventh season, the sixth season here at the Parting Glass. It's, it's great to be back. It's great to be in Saratoga. And uh, I'm so happy to see so many people coming out to enjoy our show. And it's going to be a great one. Uh, Sal Cuman will be joining us a little bit later in the show. Of course, Sal, fairly well-known owner, was involved in Justify. We'll talk about that as well as another, a number of other horses, including Monomoy Girl, who will be running in the Coaching Club of American Oaks on Sunday. Nick Zito will be joining us in just a few minutes. He's across the street, or he'll be making his way here. Nick hasn't been on since the first show, the inaugural show back in 2012. But actually, joining us for the first time is a good friend of mine and one of my favorite riders in New York and one of the top riders in New York, Manny Franco. They're all here to see you, Manny. It's, it's all about you. How many summers is this for you in Saratoga now? Get to that mic. Get over. Get on top of that mic. And I think it's, act like it's jockey karaoke. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you for having me, for having me Andy. And, and it's, it's, um, I'm happy to be here and here with you. How many, how many years now for you in Saratoga? For four? This one is uh, the five year, five year, yeah. And your fifth year, what, what was it like the first time you came to Saratoga? Was it, was it when you started riding here or had you been here before? I re uh, I'd never been here before, so that was my, you know, my first year. It's unbelievable. It's something new that I never, I never expect to, you know, be here in Saratoga with the best jockey in the world, in the country, and I'm just enjoying. And now, you were friendly with Angel Cordero. Angel's here tonight, of course. Angel. We'll get Angel on again tonight. So, Angel's more popular than anybody up here. <laughs> You have no idea what it was like when Angel rode here. Um, how, how did you get to know Angel? What, how did you come to know him and get involved with him? Um, it, for my dad, because my dad has a good friend, good friend of, of him, and my dad talked to her, it's a girl. He talked to her, and, and that's why we met Angel. And you've been sort of with him. He's, he were, he's your agent. Uh, he is your agent, right? Who? Angel. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Is he doing a good, he's doing a good job. He had a good meet at Belmont. You just missed second. You know, you, you should have been second. I, I think it's Angel's fault. <laughs> Angel, you know, he should have been second, don't you think? He may, he was, he may, you were one behind Irad, right? Huh? You were one behind Irad for second Jose, at Belmont? Jose. Ho, oh, Jose, yeah. that's right. That's yeah. right, Irad we, we won. Tie, we tied, Oh, you tied? We're the second, yeah. Oh, he tied, we tied, second. that's right. Really, is Jose mad? Huh? Is Jose mad? No. He's a little mad. <laughs> He's, now, you guys know. are good friends, you and, you and both Irad yeah, and Jose. Yeah. And did you, you guys started riding at similar times, right? Yeah. I was in the school with Jose. He was one year ahead of me. In Puerto Rico. So, in Puerto Rico, yeah. So he graduated um, um, before me. So we was together in the school. And so you ride with your friends, but, you know, it's sometimes we talk after races, and I think a lot of people must think, oh, they're friends, you know, they're riding together, but you guys are pretty competitive against each other. Yeah, we are in the track. We, we are, you know, we're trying to beat our, uh, our shoulders, so outside we are good friends. But you, but you, 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 you want to beat them. Now, up here, what's the best? Now, last year, you had a funny meet. You started off very slowly. I think you were three for 50, but you had a tremendous second half of the meet. You really came to life. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, he did. It's hard, right? I mean, because you really do want to start off well. I mean, obviously, you want to win the, all the time. The first two weeks, I was, ah, uh, come on. But after, after that, um, I was getting, you know, was doing better, so. I think you had probably almost one of the best second halves to meet of anybody in the colony, actually, because you really started winning. And, you know, do you set goals for yourself when you come up here? Or are you just sort of hoping things work out? Or you you have any specific goals? No, I was hoping the thing work out for me, you know. So. I, I think, you know, this is your year. This is your best year so far, right? Yes, I think so, yeah. And you, you won your first grade one in the Vosburg on joking. For Charlie Baker. Joking was entered. Is he going to be coming back? Do you know? Yes, he's he coming back. You're sure? Yeah. Really? Okay. Charlie yeah, promised? He was, he was entered in Belmont, and he was something with his shoes, and that's why he don't run. Okay. That's why he's crashing. 
So how did you, how did you become a rider? You're, you were living, you grew up in Puerto Rico. What led you to become a jockey? Because I, um, my dad, every time he, he, he go to the racetrack and, and so I, go, I, I was going with him too, so. In Puerto a, Rico? In Puerto Rico, yeah. And you wanted to he ride? He liked horses, so I, that's why I. So you, so you go to the jockey school. How old were you when you started? Because you're 23 or 24. 23. And so you started riding here. You, did you come right to New York? Was that the first place you rode? No, I, I went to Philadelphia Parks for the first time. How long did you ride there? I don't. I rode there like two weeks, and then I moved to New York. It's a good move. So it's <laughs> a good move. It's it's sort of the Saratoga of, of, of Pennsylvania, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually what, the first track I ever went to was in Philadelphia. It's been torn down, Liberty Bell. Um, <laughs> it was a harness track when I was in college, actually. But so you wrote and you came. I remember you came right away, and you you actually. I mean, you rode just a bug here, but you had success pretty quickly in New York. Isn't that true? Yeah. I, I, I mean, the, I get lucky, you know, because it's not, it's not easy to, you know, come to New York, and I feel like I get lucky. Well, Angel may have helped. Or you <laughs> overcame Angel. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who are, who are some of the, the riders, that you, the, the trainers that you started riding for in the beginning when you first got here? When I first got here, so, I mean, David Dunk, he gave me a lot of opportunity. Um, Good man. Yeah. Jeremiah Anglehar. Jeremiah's uh, doing really well. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. He's going to have a good meet. Yep. Is he shave the beard off or on? What's that? Is the beard off or on for Jeremiah? I feel that's important. He needs to shave for Saratoga. <laughs> to get rid of that awful beard that he has. So um, when you riding here, do you go out every morning and ro- ride all seven days a week? Do you always go out and ride in the morning? Yes. You got to go uh, in the morning to, you know, work the horses and then in the afternoon too. Have you been getting on two-year-olds? Sorry? Have you been getting on many two-year-olds for any of the trainers? Not yet. Not yet. No? Not yet. No? What's that? You're riding any two-year-olds in the morning? Any of the young or the babies? You're riding in the morning? I mean, no, I'm not getting on the two-year-old yet. No? In the morning, no. You, do, not yet. Is that, do, do most of the exercise riders ride them and the jockeys don't ride the two-year-olds that haven't started? I mean... You're not riding them. Because yeah. <laughs> they want winners. That's what we're really getting at here. They want to know about some firsters. Who are you riding this weekend? Who are your big mounts this weekend? Who are you looking forward to? I ride a uh, filly for George Weaver in the late George. Oh, well, you ride the favorite. Yeah. Uh, Daddy's little, Daddy. Uh, Daddy's a legend. Yeah, she, she's the horse to beat. Now, let me ask you a question. Are you worried? She, she, there's no speed in the race. Daddy is a legend. There's no speed. Are you worried about that at all? Yeah, a little bit. So what are you going to gonna make her look? Because she, she, you were, she, she was aggressive. You were in, didn't ride her. Irad rode her, right? Down yeah, in Churchill Downs. Yeah, Churchill Downs, yeah. Right. And she was aggressive that day. And may have, I don't know, maybe it cost the race, but she had to go after Rushing Fall. But uh, she's the one. So it would be nice to start out with a stakes win the first weekend, right? Yeah, I hope so. How many stakes did you win last year? What's that? How many stakes did you win here last year? Nah, I don't remember, but I remember the fourth that day. Really? You, oh, you won the four-star day? Yeah. And then they took you off. I don't know. What's up with that? Angel. Ask Angel. <laughs> well, he, well, Johnny got them out. It was fine for Angel. He still got paid afterwards. It worked out fine for him. I'm still mad they took you off Catholic Boy, but we'll discuss that another time. We'll discuss that another time. But um, uh, as far as uh, three-year-olds, are you riding any of the big three-year-olds coming up with the Jim Dandy coming up next week or any of those races? I think so. I'm going to ride some... Angel's going to take care yeah. of that for you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll bring Angel up and he'll discuss who you're riding. Do you, <laughs> do you think, I mean, when you prepare to ride, do you read the racing form the night before, in the morning, to go over the yeah, races? I love to, you know, write, uh, read the, the racing form. And when I get to the yoke room, I read again. So. Do, you, do you watch like Talking be, Horses? I like to be prepared. So. Do you watch Talking Horses to hear yeah. what I'm saying? I would, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you're not just saying that, are you? You're not just trying to butter me up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys watch? I don't even know if the riders watch the show. Do they watch just to hear if I make fun of them? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this show before. So. You've never seen the show? What? I, I him, know. At least he's honest. Yeah. You're going to get it tomorrow on Talking Gordon. I would watch tomorrow. Uh, I would, if I were you, I would definitely watch tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be ugly. No, I... <laughs> I, I, the other day, Manny was getting off, a, a, he was riding a horse for Barkley Tag, and I had to go down and see him because I wanted you to come on the show. So I was waiting when you got off the horse, and I walked back with you and Barkley, and you said to me, did I, did I blow the ride? Did I give him a bad ride? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I said, no, it was Barkley's fault he didn't win. 
That's right. Manny, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate you coming on. Thank you. First guest of the year, Manny Franco. Manny, have a great meet in Saratoga. Thank and thanks so much for taking the time. Thank Best of luck. Thank you. Manny Franco, everybody.